Hello, I am Squid of Love. Welcome back. We have recently got the Alpha 2.4 for Star Citizen, which is a very good update and it adds some very important and interesting features to the game, such as persistence and the Alpha UEC. But to be honest, the gameplay still feels kind of limited, and this is because of the small area of Crusader that we get to explore and experience in the persistent universe, the mini persistent universe that we have at the moment. So it is only logical for players to start wondering when we will get to see more from Star Citizen or when we will get to experience more of the features of this great game. Thankfully in the last 10 for the chairman, Chris Roberts himself has revealed some of the plans RSI has, has revealed the work RSI is doing and I have to say that the news are really good. First of all, let's talk about the system we have available in the Persistent Universe at the moment, the main Persistent Universe, which is the Crusader area, which in fact is a small part of the Stardom system. RSI currently is working on the tech that will allow them to add the whole Stardom system in the main PU, in the main Persistent Universe, and this is going to be awesome because our area, the area where we can travel, fight, explore, discover points of interest and general do everything we want is going to be huge. This addition is going to enrich gameplay and make it much better, but that's not the good part. The good part is that with the Stardom system, procedural planets will come to Star Citizen. Yeah, that's right. We will be able to land on planets in the mini PU when the Stardom system is going to be added, explore the planets and have some ground gameplay. This is absolutely amazing. Now of course you're gonna ask when this is going to happen. Well, the plan for this addition, the plan for this huge addition to the mini PU, to the mini Persistent Universe, is for 2.7. Yes, in uh, three more major patches. We are at 2.4 and this is planned for 2.7. That doesn't really mean that it will happen with 2.7. But that's the original plan for RSI and they are going to try to deliver it in this year, before the end of 2016. These are great news for all of us that we are following Star Citizen, that we are playing Star Citizen and that we are expecting this game to be the best space game out there. What I also find very positive is the fact that Chris Roberts talked about the performance we had in the previous patches, in the last patch, 2.4, he has mentioned that because they keep adding new stuff, new features, performance has degraded a bit and they are working on making the game better. They are pretty much rewriting the code, so 2.7 will be a completely new game. It will change Star Citizen, it will make the performance better, it will make the experience smoother. And this is really great because after this happened, after 2.7 and hopefully stand-on system with procedural planets arrive on Star Citizen, RSI will be able to work on adding more activities. That means that after 2.7 we might start getting mining, we might start getting trading, we might start getting exploration. And this is really great because we will finally start experiencing all the features, all the activities that Star Citizen is going to bring, wants to bring in the game. With 2.7 we will also see the NYX landing zone which is currently being integrated in the whole system, the whole standard system. So the NYX landing zone will be moved temporarily to the standard system or we will simply see a similar landing zone looking a lot like the NYX landing zone. This is great, these are great news. They are trying to integrate this landing zone with the environment, with the planets and make it happen for us so when procedural planets come to descend from space to the surface of the planet and this is going to be seamless without any loading screens. In general the goal for RSI is to remove everything that is on an instance and that's uh, the real plan, to have everything out there for us and uh, we will be able to visit them with our ship traveling from one area to the other, descending on the planet, landing on the landing zones after they will be integrated, get to the Arcorp for example, and then get back to space, continue exploring, continue scavenging, continue doing fighting pirates, continue doing everything we were doing before. 
It sounds really amazing the fact that we will soon, before the end of the year, we will be able to travel around the standard system and uh, travel from one point of interest to another, from one area to the other area, descend on planets, start exploring the surface of the planet, start fighting pirates on these planets, do everything we want, do eventually mining, exploration, just uh, strolling on a planet. There will be missions, missions will be spawning in space stations, like Port Olsar, or on wrecks, if you find some wrecks that they might spawn a mission for you, there will be missions on planets. In general, the gameplay after 2.7 will be like a real MMO, will be enriched, it will be a much better experience and hopefully with much better performance than what we have at the moment, which is totally great, don't get me wrong, but it will just get better and better. Before that happens though, we still have two more patches ahead of us, 2.5 and 2.6, and although we don't really know what 2.6 will bring the game, we got some info on 2.5. With 2.5 we are going to get probably an outlaw base, pretty much a pirate base where players that want to play as a pirate or want to play as a killer will be able to spawn. This will create pretty much two factions in the game, will create two opposing factions, players that want to play by the law, follow the law, and in general be the nice guys, and players that want to be the bad guys. And this will give them two separate bases where they can uh, stage their attacks, maybe we will start seeing more coordinated attacks, maybe we will start seeing some organization warfare, finally. People will be able to gather in one base or the other and uh, start going out to find and kill criminals or law-abiding citizens. It is going to be very interesting at least. Some really great news, I'm really happy about procedural planets that will come hopefully with 2.7 and the impact they will have in not only the persistent universe but they will have a big part to play in Squadron 42 as well. This is going to be awesome, Squadron 42 is the single player campaign of Star Citizen and the idea that we will be able to travel from space to planets and play over there as well, complete missions over there, is simply amazing. I really can't wait for these new patches to arrive, especially 2.7, hopefully, like Chris Roberts said, before the end of the year. I think we're gonna have some really good times ahead of us for Star Citizen and I can't wait to experience them. What do you think about the procedural plans and all these news? What are your thoughts about the development of the game so far and do you think they will be able to deliver all this before the end of 2016? I certainly hope so. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. I am Scoot of Love and I will see you next time. Bye bye.